all of them say, what about the Ten Commandments? All right, that's what he gave Moses. Yeah. But there are more commandments yeah. than what he gave Moses. More commandments. It wasn't time yet. There's more commandments now. No. So I said, I got men now. I keep fighting that baptism. What? what? I said, yeah, I said being baptized is a commandment. In the book of Acts chapter 10. Follow me. Acts Follow me. 10. Follow me. <laughs> Follow me. You baptism in the name of Jesus Christ fighting fakers. That's right. You got to do it or go to hell. That's right. That's the only alternative. That's right. This is one of the commandments that he didn't give Moses. You see, in Moses' day, you was baptized in the cloud, yeah. in the sea, in the sea. Right. unto Moses. That's right. But one greater than Moses came here. That's right. Listen. Acts chapter 10, verses 47 and 48. Follow me. Can any man forbid water? Ah. Uh, Amen. Or did God why Peter yet speak the word? Someone wrote, sent me that scripture. They sent me this scripture right here. Mm. Fighting the baptism. Mm. They say, you see there, they received the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. Why did they get the Holy Ghost first and got baptized afterward if you got to have water and spirit? Mm. Well, you still got to have water and spirit, but if God want to give you the Holy Ghost first without the water, he can. He can. He did it here. That's right. Huh? Sure, he did it here. And they have the circumcision which believe was be, You better begin at uh, Acts chapter 10. We'll start at verse 44. Verse 44. While Peter yet spake these words. Now Peter Amen. was doing what I'm doing now. <laughs> That's right. Preaching the word of God. The Holy Ghost fell on the all them. The Spirit of God the fell word. on all them that heard the message. And they of the circumcision they which believed were stopped. Of the circumcision, meaning they that were Jews which believed they were amazed. As many as came with Peter. As many as came with Peter, because that on the Gentiles, many other ethnic groups who was Italians. Also was poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost. See, what, wait, wait, was poured out what? Also was poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost. What came upon them, Williams? The gift of the Holy Ghost. Please tell us how did they know they had it? For they heard them speak with tongues. No, speaking in tongue ain't for today. For they heard them speak with tongues. What was poured out? The gift of the Holy Ghost. How did they know they had it? They heard them speak with tongues. How do you know you had it, viewer? <laughs> Amen. Well, I ain't speaking in tongue, Pastor Jenny, but I got it. You ain't got nothing. But nothing. That's right. You may got it, but you ain't got that. that that's, that's right. One way to obtain it here. That's right. Listen at this. Because that on the Gentiles also was poured out the gift of the Holy How Ghost. How did they know it? For they heard them speak with tongues and, and magnify God. Thank God they got happy in the process. Then answered Peter. Then answered the apostles. Can any man forbid water? He wouldn't let you get away. That's right. Even though they received the Holy Spirit first. That's right. Which is the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Peter, come on and shift gears in reverse. You reflect back on what Jesus said. Can any Jesus man? Jesus said that repentance mm -hmm. and remission of sin should be preaching his name among all nations beginning at Jerusalem. Jerusalem. And then he told them, you are my witnesses. That's right. So one of his witnesses started testifying here. That's right. Can anybody forbid water? That, that these, these should not be baptized. Oh, you got the spirit. You're born of the spirit right here, but now you're going to be born of the water. That's right. So look at what Peter is asking. Can any man forbid it? Can any man reject water? That these should not be baptized. That these should not be baptized. Which have received the, Holy, have Ghost, the Holy Ghost. As well as we. Like we have it. And he commanded them to be baptized. No, 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 no. You don't, you don't have to do it. You don't have to do it. Bishop said you don't have to do it. It's an outward sign of inward grace. He commanded them to be baptized. In the name of the Lord. You're not baptized, viewers? Mm. Then you haven't obeyed this commandment. That's right. That's right. You haven't obeyed this commandment. That's right. It's not a request. He commanded them to be baptized. He didn't ask them. No. Anytime you are commanded to do something, mm. to be right with God, right. if you don't do it, you'll go to hell for not doing it. That's right. This is one of those must obeys. <laughs> That's right. I must obey it. That's right. That's right. This is part of the introduction of circumcision here. That's right. The introduction to it. Amen. And, and he commanded them to he be ordered baptized. Them. He commanded them. He ordered them. That's right. To be baptized. In the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. Then pray they him to tarry certain days. Then pray they him. To tarry certain days. To stay around for a while. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, stick around for a stick little bit. Stick around. There's some folk doing now. They praying that I tarry a little while. Right here. I'm praying that I tarry a little while. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Go back, I believe, to Haggai. Everybody all right? 
Back in Haggai chapter 2 and verse 9. All right. The glory of this latter house shall be greater than of the former. The glory, the appearance, the yeah. function of the church in the last days shall be greater than, than of the, the former. former. The church in the wilderness, God delivered them out of Egypt, representing God delivering you out of sin. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. When the fiery serpents was sent by the Lord to bite Israel because of their rebellious behavior. And Moses was instructed to make a serpent out of brass, a brazen serpent, and set it on the pole and put it hoist, hoist it, up. it up. And whoever will look at the serpent will be healed or delivered from the bite. That's right. That's as they look up that look at that serpent and was healed. Yes. That's where you got to do Jesus. Jesus, that's right. I said that's the way you got to do Jesus. St. John chapter 3, verses 14 and 15. As Moses. And as Moses lifted up the, the serpent, the serpent in, the in the wilderness. Even so must the Son of Man be so lifted up. Even so must Jesus be lifted up. That whosoever believeth in him. Whoever. Whosoever. Whoever, God. whoever thank God, believe in him. Should not perish. Won't be destroyed. But have eternal life. When you believe him. You and obey him. No, that's right. So the church now is greater. Greater. What they done back then was a formality. That's right. Shadow of good Shadow. things to come. That's right. But now, this is the very image of the thing. That's it. That's right. Back then, none of the services that they render could make them complete, complete. or perfect. Yeah. But the services you render now to God can make you perfect or complete in Him. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Oh yes. Acts 38. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. All right. Amen. This is the instrument of straightness being used now. Oh, yes. We pulled in the string of the scriptures, and I see it coming out right. That's right. I don't see it dipping and being sprinkling for baptism and bow your head and raise your hand, accept Christ as your old personal savior, and all of that trash that come out of hell. <laughs> That's right. And the world, these men got the plumb line. They got the instrument of straightness and still come out with all still. this salvation that's not in the Bible. That's right. That's someone pulling the string and then they don't see the straightness and that thing is all dipping. Amen. And they still trying to build. That's right. And you wonder why the people come up so crooked, not save at all. Drive the church smoking, stand on the outside of church smoking and drinking a toast to each other. That's true. Deacon Bamboozle and Bishop Hypocrite. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. Deacon Bamboozle is lighting the cigarette to, to Bishop Hypocrite and Elder Heathen is smoking weed. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. Repent. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. Be sorry now. God wants to break up your heart, viewer. Oh, yeah. You might as well. You know, some folk, there's this one fella, I can't think of his name. He always log on. Mm -hmm. He want my attention so bad. He said, I just log on to say Pastor Jennings is false. But yet he watches every week. My Lord. <laughs> he literally log on and said, I just log on to say Pastor Jennings is false. He's like a whore. He wants attention. <laughs> That's right. That's now, right. He's an internet whore. That's right. I can't think of his name, but he's nothing but an internet whore. He wants attention. Very he cheap. He just keeps walking by the screen. I guess log on. Very so, cheap. So I, I want to say Pastor Dennis is false. He's an internet whore. Amen. He's an internet hooker. That's right. And he's mad because I won't pick him up. Go ahead, man. That's right. All right, let's see. Go ahead, brother. Amen. <laughs> I won't pick him up. That's right. The ugly thing. I won't pick him up. <laughs> he gets logged on every week. My I Lord. just got on to say Pastor Jennings is false. He's not but an internet hooker. My Lord. And he's mad because I won't, I won't give him attention. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love to burn their britches. <laughs> That's right. Repent! Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. And be baptized. That goes for everything. Watch it. Everything in Europe. Now, you go to the website and see where we're going to be in England and the Netherlands and Germany and Italy and Scotland or Ireland, wherever we're going to be at. You come on now. That's right. All you pastors that's head of churches, leave the organization you're in. Yeah. Leave it. Leave it. And tell all your members to leave. Pack up now. Be already gone before we get on the plane. <laughs> be gone. Be gone. 
I don't care if you say you're an apostle, a prophet, a bishop, an elder evangelist, a pastor. Call yourself what you want. If you're a woman preacher, when I get there, have your license ready to give me your license so I can tear them up. That's right. You look at them now one more time. That's right. <laughs> one more time. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Whatever country you are. Go ahead, brother. To see us in person, bring your license. That's right. So I can tear them up. That's right. Pack up and leave your church. That's it. Which church? All of them. All of them. I don't care what organization you're in. Go ahead. If you're a woman preacher, you might as well come out the pulpit or stay there and die and go to hell. That's right. Sitting next to your husband, Bishop Hypocrite. Amen. Come out. Come out. The Bible says from among them. From among them. I had one woman got so mad, she said, who do he think he is? Jesus ain't never told no one leave they, they churches. Jesus did tell them. Yes, he did. He told them through the Apostle Paul. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 17. That's what? Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate. Who said it? Saith the Lord. Who said it? Saith the Lord. Acts 9, 5. Let's see who the Lord is. And he said, who art thou, Lord? Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus. And what did Jesus tell the people? Come out from among them and be ye separate, saith the Lord. Leave your church. That's it. I don't care if you're apostolic, Pentecostal, United Pentecostal, PAW, Church of God in Christ, Church of God in Prophecy, Amen, Church of the Living God, Church of Christ, Hindu, Hudu, Muslim, Mormon, <laughs> Jehovah Witness, I don't care what you call yourself. Come out. If you're a palm reader, Sister Troy. That's right. Sister Lena. Come out from among Come them. out. Come out. Hallelujah. Come out from among them. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Come out from Come among out them. Come out from among them. And be ye separate. You women that's in these churches that let you preach. Hallelujah. You may as well get ready to leave. That's right. Amen. Any bishop ordained you and put you in the pulpit. You know, that's especially you Jamaican churches throughout Europe. Oh, yeah. Amen. Where the Jamaican women, they practically rule their men. That's right. They run their churches. That's right. Amen. The shallow apostolic shallow. church. I mean, all the women all up there hollering and women <laughs> preaching to my, you apostolic, you're fakers. That's right. God ain't never called and sent a woman to preach. That's the preacher who got the plumb line but can't pop the string right. Amen. Plumb line is all dipping. Amen. Hey, Amen. Come out. Come out from among them. All you women all across Europe that used to follow Bishop Dunn. Mm. That organization, D-U-N-N, -N, Bishop Dunn, <laughs> he's so dead now, but you that used to be in that organization where the women can preach, yeah. I don't care if Dunn laid hands on you, and if an angel gave you one of his feathers, that's a pen for you to write with now. That's right. The Bible says, I suffer not, not a, a woman, woman to, to teach, teach. nor the use of authority over the man, but to be in silence. In silence. And here's practically 99% of all you so-called apostolic Pentecostal churches are being ran by women. That's right. And when they hear me preach this, they say, that man hate women. I don't hate women. No. I don't hate women. I'm married to a woman, a fine woman, too. <laughs> That's right. Well put together like a thick piece of leather. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I don't hate women. No. I'm using the plumb line. That's right. And when I look at the wall that's going up, I see the scripture, and I got the plumb line. Line upon line. Line upon line. Precept upon precept. Yeah. And when I hit it, and that chalk of the scripture land, yeah. I see I suffer not a woman, woman to teach no use of authority over the man. That's right. Huh? That's right. I see that straight line. I suffer not a woman to teach no use of authority over the man, but to be in sign with all subjection. That's right. When you get the plumb line and you use it, Everything is all crooked. I see your mother is a bishop. Yeah. Your wife is the assistant pastor. Your daughter is an evangelist. Yeah. Grandma is an elder. That's right. I said every church that got woman preachers is a false church false pastored church. by the devil and attended by hypocrites. That's right. And none of you, here, yeah, none, none of you bishops can protect your women. No. None of your women no. can be protected from this tsunami of scripture here. That's right. All churches that got women preachers are set up by the devil and set up pastored now. by false prophets. I didn't say some of you. All of I said all of you. All of you. Come and out. The last one of you. 
Hallelujah. There ain't a woman preacher in that Bible. That's right. And you better not try to get Jesus' mama. That's right. After he rose from the dead, Mary preached the first That's message. Right. Show me that scripture. Yeah. You show me the scripture where Mary That's preached the said. first message to anybody. That's right. Show me where the Bible says that, you European liar. That's right. Well, if God can use a donkey, he can use anything. Why would you compare yourself to a donkey? Amen. Then let someone lead you to the trough and get out the pulpit. That's right. <laughs> Come out from among Come them. Come out! Come out from among them. Amen. And be ye separate, saith the Lord. So, yes, we've been throughout Europe, stopping the mouth of all you women preacher lovers. That's right. Amen. If any of you women believe that God called to send you to preach, you come on now. You come on. We'll sit and talk to you. Yeah. And we'll spank you with Bible. Oh, we'll spank you with Bible. That's right. I'm telling you straight up, if your husband ordained you, your husband tricked you. Yeah. Your husband lied to you. He, he didn't know no better. Yeah. And if he did know better, still done it, that make him a false prophet. That's right. Because he got a false message that God didn't put in his mouth. That's right. Europe! That's right. And the world, all the women preachers that's in the PAW and the United Pentecostal and Bible Way Worldwide yeah. and in the so-called churches of the Lord Jesus Christ now where the women are crept in there. Yes. Where church of God and prophecy, mm. church of God and Christ, assemblies of God, Church of Pillar, Ground, and Truth. Any of you that Any claim your apostolic or Pentecostal just claim you the good old Christian. That's right. There's not a woman preacher in that Bible. No. Amen. And I dare you to show me who she is. That's right. And what the Bible says, she's one. That's right. That's right. Don't bring me Deborah. No. Don't bring me Priscilla and Aquila. No. But what do a spell mean? Explain. Explain. That's all that mean. That's it. That's all that means. That's right. That's all that is. That's all the that Prince of Aquila was no tag team husband and wife ministry. No. The liar. No. There was no tag team husband and wife ministry. No. Expound just simply means to explain. Explain. You believe in women prophesying? Yes, sir. <laughs> That's right. No, I most certainly do believe that God can use a woman to prophesy. Yeah. The foretell events that's going to come by God's permission. That's right. And while she's doing that, she's under the anointing of God. That's right. But even that come under the order of scripture. Order of scripture. What do you mean, Mr. Dada? First Peter chapter three. First Peter chapter three. And, and again at three. verse four. At verse four. This is when, when she prophesied, this is the type of spirit she could still gonna have. First Peter chapter three and at verse four. What is it? But let it be the hidden man of the heart. Yes. In that which is not corruptible. What? Even the, Even ornament, the ornament of a meek of a meek and quiet spirit. And quiet spirit. Which is in the sight of God. How valuable is it? Of great price. God won't even make her prophesy until she's mistaken for a woman preacher. That's right. Meek and quiet. Because spirit. she gonna have a meek and quiet spirit. In other words, when she prophesies, she won't lose her feminine behavior. That's right. You right. walk around acting like a man. No. For oh, Adam. say of the Lord. Oh, shut up. That's right. Meek and quiet spirit. Kicking your legs all up in the air. Legs all up on a, on, 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 a, on a table and all up on a chair until you can see where your stock is in at your knees all rolled down, connected to your garters. My Lord. The Bible said the Holy Ghost do not behave, behave itself, itself unseemly. This is the instrument of straightness here. Oh, yes. Women preachers is a lie. That's right. They've never been in the Bible. That's right. Come out from hear, among hear, them. Hear me, bishops. Mm. You United Pentecostal fakers and you PAW fakers, you Church of God and Christ fakers. Amen. Apostolic liars. Amen. Who all of you? Amen. Oh, God right. ain't never called and sent a woman to preach the gospel since he's been God. That's right. Do you hear the Bible talking? Wherefore come out from among them. Come out. Come out. You leave now. If leave. you got ordained a woman, take your light and throw it up. That's right. Make a little paper airplane out of it and toss it. <laughs> That's right. Or keep it and go to hell with it. Go ahead, man. What did Acts 38 tell us? Acts 38. Then Peter said unto them, repent. All right, you guys all get ready now. Amen. We have quite a bit of women preachers in the truth of God that packed up, who waked up. Yeah. And man, I get mail all the time. Women are mailing me their licenses from all mm -hmm. around the world. I got them from Europe. I got them from Africa. 
One woman sent me her license, and I don't know how many licenses she had. Some different organizations, and she put a big note in there. You told me to send them to you. <laughs> Tear them up. Right. And she put a big smiling face on. <laughs> put a big smiling face on. Oh, she must send me about five or six credentials. Five or six credentials that she got from different fake churches she was in. Wonderful, brother. I took all of them and tore them up one by one. <laughs> Pastor this, elder that, bishop the other. Every woman that claims she's a bishop, an elder, or a pastor, or a deaconess. Yeah. You've been lied to by your pastor. I don't, if your husband told you, you're sleeping with a liar. <laughs> That's right. Amen. Now the first thing they do. That's right. You got your hand up, son. What is it that you want? You have your hand up back there. What do you want? You got a question? What is it? All right, Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1 through 3, real quick. Hebrews chapter 1, verses 1 through 3. All right, real quick now, because I'm over the air. You got to move fast so I can get these folks baptized. Anybody want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ before you cool off from this cool message? Off. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet if you want it. All right. All right. You that are standing, you that are standing, come on. You that are standing, come on. Got to get you while I got you hot, you here. <laughs> you that are standing, come on. All right, Hebrews chapter 1, begin at verse 1 and through the third verse. Let's read quick. God who had sun-dry times and in diverse manners. God who had sun-dry times and in diverse and different kind of manners. Spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets. He spake in the days of old. By the prophets. Hath in these last days spoken and unto us by his son. And days he spoke to us. By his son. By his son. Jesus come along. Yeah. And came in the flesh, which was the manifestation of God in flesh. Yeah. And he came and fulfilled what the prophets have said. That's right. So the Bible said all things must be fulfilled that are written in the law of Moses yeah. and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. Yeah. So here comes Jesus between yeah. prophets and apostles. and apostles. That's why Jesus bear both titles. That's right. He come between prophet and apostles, and, apostles. and he bear both titles. That's right. Moses said, God shall raise up a prophet like me, and him shall you hear in all things. That's Jesus. That's Jesus. The Bible said, Wherefore, holy brethren, partakers of the heavenly calling, oh, consider the apostle and high priest of our profession, Christ Jesus. That's Jesus. So That's he bear Jesus. the title of prophet and apostles. He bear the title prophet because he come along, Bible says, Christ is the end of the law. Mm -hmm. He bear the title apostle because he is the head of the church and the first member in the church. That's right. Amen. The first member that come out of a woman's womb is the head. Is the head. Yeah. That's right. The, the hand don't come out first. The first thing that come out of the woman's womb is the head. Right. The first member of the body, the first member of your physical body that come from the womb is the head. Right. So the first member of the body is the head and the head is Christ. Right. So for the rest of your physical body to function That's and right. obey Christ, you got to follow the head. That's right. Come on, son. As in these last days spoken unto us by his son. And he not, not only did he speak to us in these last days by Jesus Christ, but he also speak to us in these last days by the church. By the church. The church is also called the son. The son. You'll find that in the Old Testament when God told Moses to tell Pharaoh, let my son, son go, I meaning let Israel go that he may serve me. That's right. All right. Hath in these last days spoken unto us by his son. Yeah. Who may have appointed heir of all things. He have appointed heir of everything, and here comes Jesus said, everything the Father have is mine. is mine. That means that flesh and blood body that came into the world from the womb of Mary, from the tribe of Judah, from the house of David, from the generations of Shem, who was the brother of Ham and Japheth, the son of Noah, everything that body had, thank God, it inherited by the spirit of the living God. That's right. All right. Whom he hath appointed heir of all things. Yes. By whom also he made the he world. He appointed heir of all things. Not only that. That's right. He also inherited God's name. God's name. He said, I come in my Father. Father's name. 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 Uh -huh. Whom he hath appointed heir of all things. And what? By whom also he made the world. He made what? The world. Jesus made the world. That's right. His flesh didn't make the world. No. But the nation that he had before he came and put on flesh was spirit. spirit. So Jesus made the world, but his flesh didn't because the spirit is before the flesh. That's right. And then after the spirit made the world, then the spirit came manifested itself in the flesh, in the flesh and walked on the world that he made. That's right. Then he may bring the world back to him. That's it. 
He said, I reconcile you to God. That's right. By the words of his grace. By the words of his All right, son. Who being the brightness of his glory. Listen. Amen. You see, when God was manifesting in the flesh, in the flesh, that flesh was God's shape. Yeah. That shape was God's fashion. And that fashion was God's image. image. And that image was God's form. And that form was God's figure. That's right. Listen. Who being the brightness of his glory. He was the brightness. Brightness. Of the glory of God. And. And the express image. He was the express the image, image. Of his person. Hold it. God expressed himself. Mm. In an image. That's right. He was the express image of his of person. His person. His Hold person. it. The Son of Man had the personality of the Father. That's right. What do you mean the flesh had the personality of the Spirit? That's it. But the flesh was the image of the Spirit. That's why he said, when you see me, you see the Father. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. When you see me, you see the Father. You see the Father. You see the Father. What do you mean when you see me, you see the Father? He had the same shape. Right. The Father had, That's right. but he didn't have the nationality. No. No. Because the Father don't have a nationality. That's right. But the flesh was a Jew. Yes. The Father is before all nationalities. That's right. And the Father come in various forms and different shapes and different fashions. That's right. For redemption. That's it. I come look like man. As comforter, I'll be spirit. For sacrifice, I come as a lamb. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Come on, Williams. Who being the brightness of his glory. The brightness. Of his glory. And the express. Hold it. Express. Express image of his person. Express. express. Image. Express. First Timothy. Yeah. Chapter four. Chapter four. Verse one. First Timothy chapter four, not the very first verse. When something is expressed. Right. It's, it's spoken. It's spoken. So the express image. He expressed himself. Mm -hmm. God expressed himself through image. That's right. Now let's know what the Bible says. First Timothy chapter 4 and verse 1. What is it? Now the Spirit speaketh expressly. <laughs> the Spirit speaketh expressly. And what did the Spirit say? And that the latter, the latter time, time some shall depart, depart from the faith. So when, when the express image, God expressed himself through an image. Right. God spoke through a form. Right. God spoke through a figure. God spoke through a fashion. God spoke through the son of man. Yes. God spoke through the son of David. God spoke through a prophet. God spoke through an apostle. God was not an apostle because an apostle was God called, God sent, God taught, God made. Right. The apostle was the flesh and the teacher of the apostle was the spirit that was in that flesh. That's right. All right, listening. Amen. Come on, son. Go back to Hebrew now. Still in Hebrews 1, now still in verse 3. What is it? And upholding all things by the word of his power. Wait a minute. He uphold it. He uphold what? And upholding everything all in the universe by the word of his power stays in place by his speech. That's right. His speech keep everything in the universe functioning. That's right. His speech keep all humanity, all the elements, all, all the things. stars, all the planets intact. All things. They upholding. are there, including the devil. Hmm. That's right. Upholding all things. He uphold all things by the word of his power. Hold it. Not even the devil can breach God's word. That's right. That's why you hear the devil talking to the word when it was manifest in the flesh. He comes to the man that was possessed by the devil. Jesus did. Jesus, why you come talking to me before time? Before time. I know who thou art. Shut up. Shut up. Come out of him. Come out of him. Well, can we go to the swine? That's right. They needed permission. That's right. The Bible plainly said Jesus gave they them leave. leave. That means gave them permission. You want to go on the swine? All right. All right. You go on in the swine. That's right. And they didn't go nowhere else. No. Now, you don't read the Bible depict the swine as being violent, 
until Satan got in them. That's right. Notice you change for the worse. That's when the right. devil get in you. And the unclean spirit. The unclean spirit. Went out and entered into the swine. And then what the swine did. And, and the herd ran violently. They became violent. Down a steep place into the sea. That's what happened to many of us now. When the devil get in you, you get violent. Violent. Get the cussing, the eyes shifting all back in places. That's ready right. Ready to pull guns and knives out. Ready to cuss somebody out. That's and right. give them a piece of your mind. That's what's wrong with you. You gave out so many pieces over the years, you ain't got no mind left. Amen. Did you finish up, Hebrew? Almost. Come on. And upholding all things by the word of his power. Yes. When he had by himself. When he had by 